So for this problem, I have the tangent of u equals negative 5 eighths. And then I have a constraint of 3 pi over 2 is less than u, which is less than 2 pi. So let's go and take a look at where my constraint is going to tell me my angle is going to be. So we know that this is pi over 2. Here we have pi. Here's 3 pi over 2. And then here's 2 pi. So my angle u has to be between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. So therefore, my angle, by using a central angle, is going to look something like this, where here's u and here's my right angle. We'll say put 2 pi over there. Does everybody follow me how I put my triangle in that fourth quadrant? Yes. OK, mm -hmm. make sure always with our alpha, we make it with a central angle that we're going to have there. All right. So we have the tangent of u equals negative 5 over 8. Now remember, uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we have negative 5 over 8. And does that kind of make sense with the way my triangle is? Yeah, of course. Then we need to figure out our hypotenuse because we're asking to find cosine. Cosine is adjacent over a hypotenuse, and we don't know what our hypotenuse is. So we'll say 8 squared plus negative 5 squared equals c squared, or your hypotenuse squared. So 64 plus 25 equals c squared. So we'll have 89 equals c squared. Square root c equals the square root of 89. Um, plus or minus, but we know it's going to be positive. Yes? When we are dealing with points on the unit circle, hypotenuse is always going to be 1. So now, Marco, we want to look at this and say, can we simplify this any further? Can we simplify the radical? Um, I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Square root of 89, I don't know if I can simplify that um, as uh, any other term. So now, what we're going to do is Let's plug in what our cosine of u. So now we can say, knowing this triangle, this point on the triangle is square root of 89. So therefore, the cosine of my angle u is equal to 8 over the square root of 89. Right? So now let's go and plug this into the formula. So we could say the cosine of u divided by 2 is now going to be equal to, now let's look at the cosine in this quadrant. My cosine value is what, positive or negative? Positive. Cosine's positive in the fourth quadrant. So therefore, I'm going to deal with the positive square root of 1 plus 8 over square root of 89 divided by 2. Now, we've got to get that square root off the bottom, right? So let's multiply by the square root of 89 on the top and the bottom. Therefore, I'm going to be left with the square root of 89 plus 8 divided by 2 square root of 89. Then what I would do is make sure I could rationalize my denominator. Then I'm left with 89 plus 8 square root of 89 divided by 89 times, or 2 times 89 is going to be 178. And then we want to see if we, I don't even remember which problem I was doing on this one. 51? I don't remember. I can't remember. Yep. And then we just want to see, can we simplify this any further? And no, we can't. So that's going to be your final solution. Cool? OK.